War never changes. Fallout 3 is definitely one of my favorite games this gen. It presented an expansive world, great setting, and fun gameplay, so it's no wonder why I and so many others love the game, despite some of its random bugs. In fact, the only group that didn't take a liking to Fallout 3 were fans of the previous games because Fallout 3 did deviate from the gameplay and style of the previous games. But did you know that Fallout 3 was originally supposed to play like those previous Fallout games, in a game that never had a chance to be finished, let alone released? Today on Gaming Mysteries, in honor of Fallout New Vegas coming out, I'll be talking about the unreleased original version of Fallout 3, otherwise known as Van Buren. Now Fallout 3 was originally under development by Black Isle Studios, who were owned by Interplay Entertainment, and the game was given the working title of Van Buren. The game was set to continue the Fallout series following Fallout 2. Black Isle Studios planned to include a dual combat system into the game that allowed the player to choose to use either a real-time or a turn-based combat system, although the emphasis would be on a turn-based version, and evidently the game would also feature co-op multiplayer. And the setting of Van Buren would be different to that of the final version of Fallout 3, seeing as it would take place in Southwest America rather than DC. But you're probably wondering what went wrong. Well, Interplay Entertainment went bankrupt and closed down Black Isle Studios before the game could be completed. As such, the game was cancelled in 2003. Of course, Fallout 3 didn't die as the license to develop Fallout 3 was sold for a $1,175,000 minimum guaranteed advance against royalties to Bethesda Softworks. Now Bethesda developed their version of Fallout 3 from scratch, not using code from Van Buren or any other materials created by Black Isle Studios. Bethesda's version of Fallout 3 was released in 2008 and received very positive feedback. Now I know that people who were fans of the previous Fallout games don't like that Fallout 3 turned out the way it did, but personally, I love the game and I'm glad it went down this route, and I think it's just a great game. Now although Van Buren was cancelled, apparently several elements from it, including some story elements, have made their way into Fallout New Vegas. It's also worth mentioning that in 2007, a tech demo of Van Buren, the original version of Fallout 3, was leaked to the internet. It's from an early build of the game and it's very buggy, but it's free to check out, so if you're interested you can find it at the No Mutants Allowed website. But that's all there is to say about Van Buren, the cancelled original version of Fallout 3. I know there are fans out there that are sad that the game didn't come out because they love that original Fallout style and they wanted that to continue, but personally, I'm happy that Fallout 3 turned out like it did. I love the game as I've already stated over 9,000 times in this video, and I don't think I would have enjoyed a different version of it, especially in that older style which honestly didn't appeal to me that much. But if you can excuse me, Fallout New Vegas has claimed ownership of the next couple months of my life. This has been Gaming Mysteries, thanks for watching.